that Bible. You must give it to me now. But the, the, so said a father in, in Colombia, as her, uh, as his daughter uh, received a Bible from the Gideons at school earlier that day. The father insisted that he look at the Bible before he let her read it. And he put it in his pocket and went off to work. Well, the father worked at, in a mine. And that night uh, there was a, explosion and there was a, a causing a cave-in of the mine and trapping 14 miners deep underground. And by the time people uh, reached the miners, they had all been deceased from suffocation. In the in this, uh, pocket of, of the father, the, they found the Gideon New Testament with a note in the front page that said, uh, addressed to the daughter and saying that I have read this book and it is okay for you to read. And in the back of every Gideon Testament is a plan of salvation and a place where the reader can sign it when, and date it when they uh, receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Well, the father had signed and dated it before the air ran out and underneath his signature was the signature of the other 13 miners. Psalm 119, 105 tells us, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Hello, my name is Larry Frash, and I'm representing the Gideons International. The Gideons International is a Christian organization made up of businessmen and professional whose sole purpose is to reach men and women, boys and girls, with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we do this by two, two main ways. First of all, by personal witnessing, and the second is by printing and distributing of God's word, the Holy Bible. Now, Gideons are best known for giving out Bibles at hotels and motels. But did you know that we give out Bibles like this one in schools right here in your neighborhood. We also distribute Bibles at prisons and jails, universities and colleges, county fairs, military bases, just to name a few. And the Gideon's wives in the auxiliary uh, give out Bibles at uh, veterinary um, offices and medical and dental offices. And my wife even went to prison to give out Bibles. Now I took a missions class at uh, Bible College and one thing that they emphasized in that class was that even if a person understands and talks in the trade language such as English that they respond to the gospel and, and to spiritual things much more when they're able to hear and read the Bible in their own native language. And that is simply because of the language that a person speaks as they, they grow up is kind of like a heart language. And that's one of the beauties of the Gideons International. We print and distribute Bibles in 99 heart languages. We, we have membership in 198 countries throughout the world. And in a real sense, we are an extension of the missionary arm of the local church. This past year, the Gideons gave out over 85 million copies of God's Word. And later on this year, we will reach the 2 billion mark of, of Bibles giving out to a lost, dying world. Now, people often ask, you know, you give out all those Bibles. Well, how do you know that anyone even reads them? Well, we have God's promise about that. In Isaiah 55, 11, God is speaking. And he says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. The Bibles that we give out at schools 
have the verse John 3.16 in the front in 26 different languages. And just down the street here at uh, Mission Middle School, a Gideon of Chinese descent um, was asked if he could read the verse in uh, Chinese. And so starting with John 3.16 in Chinese, he was able to lead two students to the Lord. And in poor schools, such as in Ghana, um, oftentimes the Gideon Bibles that are distributed at schools, the, the, those are the only books that, the, that they are able to afford to give to the students so they can teach them to read. In a certain town in Russia, they have an annual migration of storks. And the locals say that if the stork builds their nest on your house, that your home will be, be richly blessed. Well, this proved to be true to a person we will call Emil. Now, Emil enjoyed watching the storks and, and raising their young, and, but then when uh, they flew south for the, the winter, he decided to remove the, remove the nest so the snow would not accumulate. But much to his surprise, he noticed that the, uh, that the nest was lined with uh, several pieces of small pieces of paper. And when he read those, he was just certain that those had to be part of a holy book. So he took the pages to his Orthodox priest, who said, yes, those are, are from the Bible. And he told the story that another priest had had told the, the school students to rip out the pages of, of the Bible when, they, when the Gideons handed them out. And so, but of course, God had other plans for those particular pages. And the friendly priest also said that if he wanted to know more about the Bible, that Amos should go to the evangelical church in that village. And now, Abel is the the pastor at that evangelical church. I would have loved to have been a Gideon who, who gave out those, uh, you know, those testaments to those uh, Russian kids. But how more important would you, you have been to, to donate the, the finances that go to purchasing these Bibles in a, in a church like this one? We praise God for the open doors in the continent of Asia, where one out of every three persons on earth live. For example, last year, we, the Gideons gave out over one million copies of God's word per month in the country of India. And I am just really excited to be able to tell you today that now the Gideons International is legally distributing scriptures in the People's Republic of China. You know, for years, the, the doors have been closed to China, but now we praise God that, that they have been opened. Um, China is not one of the official 198 countries in the Gideons, but uh, like I said, we have open doors and, um, to spread the gospel. And, and to distribute Bibles. At a, a distribution um, in San Jacinto College, my best friend gave a testament to a, a, a boy named Trevor. Now, Trevor said that a Bible like this one had saved his father's life just two weeks earlier. His father was in the U.S. military in Iraq, and a bullet had been stopped by the testament in his pocket. So I pray that you know, God will use this event to bring Trevor closer to his he heavenly father and his earthly father. Uh, Stan got his New Testament in Navy boot camp. And he, he proceeded to put, put the Bible in his uh, uh, sack and um, left it there for several years. But Stan's life was, was in shambles. And he remembered that 
you know, he had that Bible, and so he pulled it out and read it, and soon surrendered his, um, you know, life to Christ, it, you know, sitting in a submarine 400 feet below the ocean surface. In 1969, Christian missionaries by the name of Bray got in their sailboat and went to a small island in the Philippines. They, they went door to door and um, you know, was giving out Christian tracts. But much to their surprise, they discovered that all of the uh, people that they talked to were born again Christians. So they, heard, they were told the story that during World War II, a U.S. Navy lifeboat, an empty lifeboat, had drifted ashore and there was a Gideon New Testament in that boat. And the elder of the village read it and became a Christian and, you know, led his family to Christ and soon the village and the whole whole island, he, um, you know, evangelized the entire island. The Gideon Bible Program, Gideon Card Bible Program, is one way that the Gideons um, you know, have, you know, get funds for, for their, um, and so with a Gideon card, you could um, give a, um, a card of, for encouragement somebody, tell them that you're praying for them, or in memory, in honor of, of a deceased loved one, or, or just simply to um, encourage them on a very special day in their life. And every penny that goes to, um, you know, from, from these cards would go directly to the sale of, uh, you know, Bibles and uh, the distribution. Now, when, when the Gideons give out, as a group, uh, give out uh, Bibles, we call that a donation. I mean, excuse me, a distribution. But when we give several distributions in the same area at the same time, that is a scripture blitz. Now I've been on scripture blitz to Las Vegas, Los Angeles, San Diego, Hawaii, and the most exotic of all, Riverside. Mm -hmm. If you become a member of the Gideons International, you can join us for the scripture blitz in Anaheim in October. It is such a huge uh, prayer to you know, answer to prayer to be able to give you know a Bible to a college student, or it is a real kick to to be able to be at a at a junior high and literally be giving out Bibles as fast as you can. I urge you to pray for your missionaries every day, including the Gideon. And I thank you, Pastor Puccio, for, for inviting me to come today. Thank you.